<laughs> Tell us about Penn State. What do, you, what do you see from them on film and what are some challenges they're going to Um, They're an old team uh, and they shoot probably the most teams out of any three, any team that I've seen. Um, so it starts with Jalen Pickett. He's, um, I think, leading our conference in assists and we just got to close out to three point shooters. Matt, for somebody, you've done this a while, for somebody that's a layman, can you describe what that feeling's like at MSG when you're just hot and you know that if you touch the basketball, it might go in? Yeah, it was a great feeling. Um, it really felt like uh, any other environment to me. It was just a lot of people. Um, but yeah, it felt great. Um, I've had that feeling a few times in my career, and it's always it's always a good one. Do you feel different? Like as you're coming down the floor, like you're almost yeah. You feel you just physically different. Like, it, it really started before the game, though. Um, well, first of all, I fasted before the game, so I hadn't eaten since like noon. Um, so my body actually felt really good. I'm planning on doing that tomorrow too. And then um, <clears throat> I just felt, I don't know, like I just did not care. Like I woke up that morning and I was just like, I really don't care what happens. And it's probably why I played so well. What was the conversation like with Palmer when you threw that fasting idea out to him? Like, how do you just um, kind of approach that with those guys? I mean, they're really supportive of everything that I've done so far. They know I'm dealing with a lot of uh, different things with my body. Um, and we uh, went and got an allergy test and we learned I was allergic to a lot of things and I was eating those every day. So that's helped me start feeling better within the last week. Um, and then the fasting, uh, that was just something I brought up and, and they're, they're like, go ahead, try it. So, yeah. When you start getting after eating, are you like hungry in the second half? Do you have a little percent? Say that again? When do you kind of, I know this is a question, when do you kind of start to eat this game? And do you ever get like hungry after not eating? Nah, it's really weird. Your body, like, especially when you're doing athletic things, like I haven't eaten today, we just finished practice. You're not ever hungry after working out. So it takes like an hour before you get hungry again. So, yeah. Matt, do you feel like the team turned a corner in New York? Is that, is that a stepping stone for you heading into the Big Ten play? Definitely. That was a big confidence booster for us because, I mean, that's a, you know, that's a top five team for sure, in my opinion. And it just showed us that we can beat anybody. You talked about still dealing with yourself physically. What percentage do you think you are as far as fully healthy? 75. Yeah. We're working on it, uh, but uh, I felt a lot better the other night. Um, Y'all can probably tell, so uh, we're just working at it every day. After, What's it been like kind of going through that? I mean, not, I mean, you know what you're not. Mm -hmm. Sitting in the game for yourself. Right. It's been frustrating, but my, my coaches have been, and my teammates have been so supportive of me. Like, obviously, I haven't been playing like myself at the beginning of the season. Um, but, yeah, everybody, like, Coach Coach Underwood has just been coaching me like normal. He hasn't been, like, extra on me. Uh, and they've just helped uh, me maintain my confidence through that. Uh, I think it's a surprise. Yeah, because I was, I'm allergic to milk and eggs, and I literally ate milk and eggs every single day. And then when I stopped eating that, I was like, wow, <laughs> I feel a lot better. <laughs> so... After uh, such a big win on such a big stage, uh, how do you guys keep a, a level head going into tomorrow against a still really solid Penn State team? Yeah, um, I mean, it's pretty hard to get too big of a head when Coach Underwood is screaming at you every five seconds. So uh, I think he's helping us stay humble. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, we're 0-1 in league play and we're trying to win a Big Ten championship. So we definitely got to stay focused. I'll just ask about sincere for freshman to come in and have the ability defensively. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously people can get buckets, but like for him to use it on that side, what, what's that say about him? Like what makes him so effective on that Yeah, end? I mean, I think I'm probably, I, I don't tell him this, but I'm probably the biggest Sincere Harris fan in this program. I thought he was amazing from day one. He just brings so much energy. He's never focused on himself. He's just trying to help the team win. He's not out there trying to get his stats. He just wants to help the team win. And you can see it every game he comes in, he affects the energy every time. Um, so I, I expect great things from him. I mean, I guess diet changes, fasting, anything else that you're trying to you know, get feel, yeah. feel good? Um, I've got some uh, injuries that I've been dealing with, but um, uh, I'm not going to disclose those, but uh, they're starting to feel a little bit better. But it's still, uh, still a good amount right now. What are some things in practice that Coach Underwood is focusing on on cleaning up? I know you won the game, but there's still a few hiccups. What, what are some of those things you're working on? Um, Texas did a really good job of taking us out of uh, getting into our plays with their denying defense and stuff. So we're just trying to um, figure out ways to be able to still get into that, still get into our stuff, and not just have to um, do isolation when people are taking it away. Uh, but uh, Penn State plays a lot different style of defense, so that probably shouldn't be a problem. Thanks, if you don't mind me asking, 
Did you say, do you want to take the allergy test? Allergy test? Um, I just had always been feeling like crap, and my stomach was always hurting, and I was just like, man, I think, like, I, I just want to do this. Like, um, our trainer, Paul, he's awesome. He, you know, jumped at the opportunity and just took me straight to the place, and, and then I was allergic to um, three things. I was eating every day, milk, eggs, and uh, wheat, so, yeah. Is that the test with a bunch of needles in your back? No, it was a blood test. A lot, a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. So gluten, you gotta go gluten free? It's not gluten, it's wheat. So it's a little bit easier actually. So, yeah.